It is most precious how mindful the Tathagata is of all the bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them so well. World Honored One, if good men and good women seek the consummation of incomparable enlightenment, by what criteria should they abide and how should they control their thoughts? Buddha said, very good, Subhuti. Just as you say, the Tathagata is ever mindful of all the bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them well. Now listen and take my words to heart. I will declare to you by what criteria good men and good women seeking the consummation of incomparable enlightenment should abide and how they should control their thoughts. Said Sabuti, pray, do, world honored one, with joyful anticipation we long to hear. So, very interesting. This is the second chapter of the Diamond Sutra. It's not difficult. Why does everybody think the Diamond Sutra is difficult? It's not difficult. It's very clear. But it's not difficult. The Diamond Sutra, I often say, it's like glass. It's like a piece of glass. It's a piece of glass. It's very clear. But it's substance. It has substance. But you can see through it. So it's a thing. It's there. But it's not there. So for people, this part that's not there is confusing to people. Second chapter is very clear, just like the first. Now in the midst of the assembly was the venerable Sabuti. Sabuti was one of the greatest of the Buddha's ten great disciples. And the Sabuti was known for a great insight into emptiness. The main Sabuti means born from emptiness. Born from emptiness. So this Sabuti is very interesting. He's already a great practitioner. He's already a great meditator, Sabuti. He's not stupid. He's very wise. But what happens here is the Sabuti saw something. This is totally connected to the first chapter. He saw the Buddha and said, I want to live like that. That's why this question appears. If the Buddha wanted, he would have made this Diamond Sutra start with this chapter. Sabuti appeared and asked the Buddha a question. But it starts with the Buddha doing this. So, all the monks saw this. And Sabuti saw this everyday life mind of the Buddha. How the Buddha did all these things without a trace, without a remainder, without any thinking, without any dodging in mouth, without any thinking about the past, the future, what do I have to do? Okay, when I'm done begging, I don't like this bowl. Well, this bowl's okay. I don't know. I did this yesterday. Food, not so good. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel so good. Well, I have to teach. I hope they don't ask me any questions today. I'm just going to sit here. I'm the Buddha. I don't have to teach. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing. He saw that the Buddha was just like glass. Just like glass. This completely clear mind, even in these activities, even going to the city, even begging, even tired, even this food. What kind of food? Sometimes not so good. But the Buddha, do, do, do. So he saw, this is the correct life. This is the correct life. I want to follow this life. So, the whole, this whole chapter, the second chapter, is Sabuti saying, Sir, how can we live like you? How can we live this enlightened life? Yet yeah, Jesus said, you want to enter the kingdom of heaven? Become like a child again. But how do you do that? How do you do that? That's what Sabuti is asking. How? How do we live this childlike life? How do we live this empty life? How do we, every action, hanashik, 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 how do we do that without leaving a trace, without leaving a stain, some thinking, some remainder, some attachment? How do we do that? That's this second chapter. It's all about watching the Buddha. So, 
Already the Diamond Sutra is finished. First chapter. The Buddha has already taught without speech. He taught through his everyday life, everyday life, what is correct life. Sabuti says, can you now describe that? So, now, in the midst of the assembly was the venerable Sabuti. Forthwith he arose, uncovered his right shoulder. See, we have this kasa. This kasa should cover the right shoulder. When they were sitting to protect, this is not a, a decoration, this kasa. It's a, actually clothing. But to show respect, you uncover the right shoulder. It's a sign of respect. Kind of like uh, in the, uh, kind of like in, uh, in Asia, you know, Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. This kind of, like this. It's all just a sign of respect. Why you do that? If someone just goes, yeah, Annyeonghaseyo. You know, oh, arrogant. It's, a very, it's just a simple sign to show respect. Oh, that kind of mind. So, forthwith, Sabuti arose. Now watch this. The Buddha is seated. Everybody is seated. Then Sabuti stands up, uncovers his right shoulder. That's this kasa. Uncovers the right shoulder. Knelt upon his right knee. That's more kind of hashim. Right? This very humble mind. And respectfully raising his hands with palms joined in front of the Buddha. This shows no weapon. It's a sign. That's why this hapchang is very important. No weapon. Nothing hiding. Right shoulder is bare. There's no weapon. And addressed the Buddha. World honored one. World honored one. It is most precious and how mindful the Tathagata is of all the Bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them so well. World honored one, if good men and good women seek the consummation of incomparable enlightenment, by what criteria should they abide and how should they control their thoughts? So very simple, he says, world honored one, Buddha, world honored one. It is most precious and how mindful the Tathagata is of all the Bodhisattvas. So Tathagata is yore. Yore. It means, it means uh, coming like this. Yore. Coming like this. Just like this. Manifested like this. So Tathagata means Buddha. But it also means our experience like this. The sound of the rain. That's yore. The feeling of this fan on my face. That's yore. This, this experience, my life, just like this. Appearing like this. See, we don't see how much our experience is already Buddha. It's already Buddha. When you hear the rain, that's Buddha. You feel the sweat on your arm, that's Buddha. You feel the wind or the, 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 the air on your cheek? That's Buddha. This microphone cannot feel that. This microphone cannot hear the rain. But I feel that. That's Buddha. So, yore. How can we experience this? How can we have this geoin in maum that hears and sees and smells, and tastes, and touches, and feels. Just like, how can we do that? That's all he's asking. Very simple, this Diamond Sutra. It's not rocket science. This is not difficult. Subhuti's just saying, your everyday life, how can we live like that? World Honored One, if good men and good women seek the consummation of incomparable enlightenment, by what criteria should they abide, and how should they control their thoughts? So two points about this. He says, how do we get Anyutara Samyak Sambodhi? How do we get highest enlightenment, Buddha? How get that? 
the way 